Uh, Spud, Damo and Gaz assembled. The Duke, uh, well, probably a good 10 minutes away. Spud's just dropped the bomb on us that he's actually <laughs> leaving the box <laughs> during the course of a preview. Some got, and uh, the bomb that I've got that's going to tear the box apart. When's is, that coming? Well, I think I'm going to have to do it tonight. You are? Because you're not in there tomorrow. I and want to hear it. It's got anything to do with me, guys. You need to hear it. And it's just been doubled up because something else has just hit my desk oh, as well. Oh, nice. Which makes it even worse. Nice. A double smacking. Good. Ooh. And uh, I don't like it, but it's uh, it's going to be done. I've got a question for Purple. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, he being the eight-time uh, award winner uh, last eight years, Alf Gary. Alf Brown. Alf Brown, I think, won two of them, Purple. Three. No, Three of award. them. You know that and award, Jim? You yes. can't dispute that award. The other ones are like opinion-based. Yes. Go, I think he's a better call than him. Or yes. He. When you're breaking stories, oh. that's indisputable. That's it. That's why he keeps winning. Eight in a row. It's just a non-event. No, it's that's just it. a stage where no one else wants so, to so enter. During the week, uh, he won his eight. So, Purple, being uh, now in the electronic media, but of course being a dominating force in the print media for a very long time, you know it's not something I have a great uh, feel for. No, Jim, you don't read papers I at don't, all. I'm not a paper reader. You, you, so, you proudly tell me that every day. So when this got sent to me during the week, I, I couldn't believe it. But then I just presumed, uh, and, I, and I presume rightly, I presumed that it had to be comedy. Right. Like, like satire. Mm-hmm. Because you know how in, in modern newspaper space it appears, it's become very, uh, you know, passe for papers to say, as we told you exclusively in April... <laughs> we there's prob- a, we, we there's probably, a new stadium being built in Perth. We, we probably all do that. Jim. Or as we like told you, the, yeah, but it yeah. seems to me in the print media now yeah. they do it a lot. But we probably all do it. So I, I told you, you know, uh, exclusively, we told you exclusively, the age told you exclusively in yep. uh, July that uh, this was going to happen. Well, to answer your question, that does happen a lot. So it happens a lot. Yep. But, so, but it happens everywhere. Well, okay. Yeah. So what I presumed when this was sent to me, that this must be a piss take of that. Okay. Right, because yep. <laughs> this was sent to me. Hang on, when you get a when you get a text, it should have a date. Anyway, Wednesday. Yep. Wednesday this week. And you rang me straight away when you got right. It. So this was sent to me Wednesday, and this line, Gary, I'm interested in your thoughts on this. No, I haven't done what you're talking about. This but line I will be. in uh, the smaller of the two papers in our city uh, interested the person enough to send it to me, and now I want to find out if it is indeed what I think it is, which is a piss take, <laughs> and that is <laughs> the Herald Sun on Saturday. So this is this Wednesday this was sent to me, so I presume that meant the Saturday earlier. Yep. Mm. Can only presume that. The Herald Sun on Saturday, I almost can't read it out. <laughs> <laughs> Big build up, Jim. Yeah. Exclusively revealed Dangerfield's determination to leave the Crows for July. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's Saturday just gone. <laughs> No, that's, that's the third no, week of September. Jim, that's 2014. Well, Gary, 2014. I, I will. I tell you what, I'll do. I'll put my hand over my heart. If someone's someone's duped me and sent me this that was actually a year ago, so they revealed it like September 21st, 2014. Okay. okay. So if yeah. that if that was it, then I will put my hand straight up right, and say I acknowledge that I have Bullshit. done a wrong by this organisation. Would it be claiming an exclusively revealed 2015 three days ago? No. Well, you, Gary, you could like, not. Do like that. I say, I presume it's a piss take o- of all of that of this new thing that everyone does, which says <laughs> yeah, we exclusively <laughs> told you Who that they were going to do a bloody uh, t- uh, tartan style mowing at the Domain Stadium <laughs> this year. Who was it? Well, I'm reading it here. It was who, sent to me. But who wrote it? Oh, have I got that? Don't ask me too many questions, Gary. I'm not sure about that. But I want to know from you, Purple, if this is indeed what I think it is, and that is a nice, large, tongue-in-the-cheek piss take of what all these papers are starting to do with this uh, thing here. Well, I don't have the same fascination with this story as you do, Jim, but well, no, Purple, I, I don't think it is a piss take. I think it's a Purple, legitimate claim. How could you, if it wasn't a piss take claim... That last Saturday, <laughs> you exclusively revealed oh, no. something everyone in this paper has known and written about for six straight months. There have been four articles a week on Patrick Dangerfield leaving Adelaide and going to Geelong since February this year. That's a very good point. So how could you write that if you're not fully taking the piss? <laughs> Mate, is it possibly? Are you possibly taking? It out of context. Oh, I don't know, Purple. It was a, a photo of an article that was sent to me. Right. So that's why yeah. I go to you as the expert on it. Is Jim, it what is this? No, I, I look, it looks real to me, Jim. It's, and it, it's a very good point, Jim. Oh, please. <laughs> I mean, come on, Gary. Uh, no, 
that's not that's not right. That must be a joke. It must be some sort of joke. Well, okay. Yeah. Then then uh, I like it. Yeah. Well, if you're taking the piss, right. then we like that. That's what we do here. Yep. Yep. I think it ran so, on the homepage to you. Didn't it? Well, so, I don't know. I've just said to you. I've well, received a photo of it. Someone will uh, get in touch with whoever wrote it, and um, you can tweet into the footy, into the Triple M footy, and tell us whether you're joking yeah. or whether you're actually claiming or, the exclusive last week, last Saturday. Did yeah. we get to the bottom of that, Jim? No, I don't last... know. So I'm asking you, Purple. I don't get to the bottom of that sort of thing. I just want to know what your thoughts are, mm. being the man who, of course, has dominated this space before moving on to the electronic media. Right. Uh, let's leave that. That's a very good point. You're one of your best you've made all year. It is a beauty.